an army cadet has received the coveted Duke of Westminster Award for her hard work helping others and for the dedication she's shown to completing her duties. The prize was given out at a reception before the winner and four runners-up were taken on a special tour of Downing Street. The Cavalry and Guards Club provided the backdrop to the ceremony for this year's Duke of Westminster Award. As the short list of five cadets and their families were joined by leading figures from the world of education and the military to find out who the winner would be. But the plush surroundings were a little too much for some. It's, it's quite exciting, but I'm scared to touch anything. <laughs> And the nerves were really jangling as the assembled party were told the winner of the big prize. It's a really great pleasure to, to make the sixth Duke of Westminster Award to Company Sergeant Major Nicky Morgan of Humberside and South Yorkshire AFC. Nicky was honoured for all her hard work, dedication to her studies and helping others and for the efforts to encourage other youngsters to join the cadets. All the cadets here have completed a BTEC run by the Cadet Vocational Qualification Organisation, but all the finalists have gone way beyond what was required of them. Luke Finnegan, for example, would have been left with no qualifications after falling in with the wrong crowd, but he's now turned his life around and is planning a career in the RFA. I feel quite privileged. It's, it's, as I said, it's just a trip of a lifetime and it'll be amazing. Each of the five here received a special award and will be joined by a further ten cadets for a trip to South Africa. And the excitement is still sinking in. It's great uh, just to get over and see how Africa really is, not the tourist side of it, and just have a good time, help the people out a wee bit, you know, have a bit of fun. Lunch was supposed to be attended by the Duke of Westminster himself, but ill health meant Admiral Lord West stepped in at the last minute. So now they've had their awards, they've had their posh dinner. It's a chance for a private tour of Downing Street after a quick photograph for the family albums. While leaving their parents behind, the cadets were treated to a private tour of the inner corridors of power of number 10. The Prime Minister was in the house but kept away from the camera. The cadets didn't seem to mind though as they enjoyed Winston Churchill's battered old leather chair. A moment's rest in the former office of Margaret Thatcher a chance to sit in the Prime Minister's chair nonetheless in the Cabinet Room and the State Banquet Hall where Presidents and Royalty have all been entertained and now provided a chance for a proper English cup of tea at the head of the table of course. It was amazing, I didn't realise it was so big. It was, it was, it was such a good experience and it's definitely one I won't ever forget. And now heading off to South Africa. I'm so excited. I'm really looking forward to the three weeks away. I'm really excited. And now they'll get another unforgettable experience as they complete a once-in-a-lifetime expedition in South Africa, helping orphaned children and working on a building project. These pictures from last year show how rewarding this trip can be for many of the cadets who've never been to Africa before. Kyle Ark, BFBS Reports, Downing Street.